As caretakers of the Wild Mountains Environmental Education Centre, we recognise the original custodians of the land, the Mijinberry tribe of the Yugambeh language group, and we will nurture this land for future generations. Wild Mountains Trust has gradually acquired 97 hectares of land on the Queensland spur of the border ranges to conserve natural habitat adjoining World Heritage Conservation Area. On the site, the Trust hopes workshops and education programs in its sustainable buildings. The centre has evolved over 30 years and was originally designed by a 19-year-old architect student as part of a uni design competition, the now well-known Brisbane architect Emma Scragg, who tells us that her focus on architecture has been moulded by her journey with Wild Mountains. All the buildings at Wild Mountains are designed to minimise embodied energy, maximise passive solar thermal performance and consider longevity. The centre was so is serviced by a standalone power array, rainwater, grey water treatment, and three different types of composting toilet. The most recently completed building is a home for long-term residents, named Whiptail after the resident wallabies. Wild Mountains resident volunteers Liz and Justin had attended a straw bale building workshop with Huff and Puff Constructions. After being inspired by their incredible thermal insulation that straw bale offered, along with its aesthetics, straw bale also suited the moderate BAL19 bushfire ratings of the site. The already level site lent itself to a slab on the ground, but Liz and Justin chose an earth floor thereby limiting high embodied energy concrete to strip footings only beneath the perimeter and, and internal walls and a small slab beneath the bathroom and composting toilet. A large living space with high raking ceilings under a skillion roof captures the winter sun and is protected along the west by a broad veranda, including a conservatory for seed propagation and along the full length of the east side by a lean-to for car parking, workshop and storage. The two bedrooms along the east side have high windows to capture the morning sun and glass bricks to the hallway to borrow light from the main living space and rooms opposite. The walls are rendered with clay, sand and straw, clay from a local friend's property near Bow Desert, and the timber wall linings down the hallway were salvaged from a shack demolished in the next door block. Asher and Justin built the kitchen out of CHH Eco Ply, and the solid timber slab for the island bench was sourced from the slab guy in Jimboomba. The composting toilet is a nature loo from EcoFlow. The toilet is up a staircase to provide the height to allow easy access to the nature loo composting chamber from outside. Secret storage drawers have been cleverly built into the stair risers and the storage loft above the storeroom is accessed beside the toilet, providing additional storage in the house. Outside, the sand and lime straw bale render is well protected by a generous roof overhangs. All timber work is recycled hardwood protected by Envirodec water-based polyurethane. As with all other buildings at Wild Mountains, Whiptail was built almost entirely with volunteer labour. Preparing recycled materials, erecting frames, pouring concrete, building with straw bales, rendering and pouring the earth floor. 270 volunteers under the supervision of Rob Pegram Builders and Justin Hills assisted during the four and a half year build, which was completed just in time for Sustainable House Day in 2019, when Wild Mountains opened up six buildings to the public. In the whole building at Whiptail, less than 5% of the timber used was new timber. Most other elements are secondhand or salvaged, making the house's recycled content approximately 80%. Pavers were salvaged from a skip, 
Light fixtures are made from recycled bottles and timber, and sleepers, basins and sinks were salvaged. Some of the new elements were high-performance double-glazed UPVC windows, plywood for cabinetry and ceiling linings. All of the plywood is sustainably manufactured and low VOC.